India and Pakistan are countries that are very close in terms of languages and ethnicity. On October 26, 2023, a gunfight broke out along the border between India and Pakistan. The Hindu Times, an Indian media outlet, reported that Pakistani troops fired and shelled indiscriminately targeting at least five Indian posts along the northern Jammu Kashmir border, injuring two guards and one civilian. Pakistani daily newspaper Dawn, citing military sources, reported that Indian troops opened fire on Pakistani posts along the border near Sialkot, Punjab. Each side claimed that they attacked the other first. A gunfight between countries is a situation where war could break out at any moment, but the international community watching this was not very surprised. Because it is a very familiar occurrence, it is common to claim that when something bad happens in India, it was planned by Pakistanis. And when something happens in Pakistan, it is common to claim that it was something that Indians did. To understand how India and Pakistan came to be in such enmity on cat and dog terms, we have to go back to 1947. Pakistan and India were originally one country. When it was a single country, it was called the Indian Empire and was under British colonial rule from 1858 to 1947. Then, in gaining independence from Britain in 1947, the Indian Empire was split into two. The reason was religious conflict and originally, India was mostly made up of Hindus. However, after the Islamic forces arrived around the 8th century and established the Islamic Empire, Hindus and Muslims came to live mixed in India. Hinduism and Islam have very different doctrines and different customs, so they have clashed frequently. When it comes to diet, Islam prohibits eating pigs and Hinduism prohibits cows. Perhaps there had been an internal agreement, but with their sudden independence, Islam and Hinduism did not back down from each other even an inch during the process of establishing a government. In the first place, Pakistan had been demanding independence even before it happened. So it is not that they did not back down, but rather that they did not want to form a single country from the beginning. Many countries were divided by political ideology during the Cold War, but the Indian Empire was divided by religion. Regarding political ideology, people can argue which side is more efficient to a certain extent, but with religion, there is no solution because both sides believe that their gods are right. In the end, only two months after independence, the first India-Pakistan war broke out over the Kashmir region. The Kashmir region can be seen as the spark of the Indian-Pakistan conflict. The reason Kashmir became a battleground between the two countries was because the region's leaders were Hindus, but most Kashmiri residents were Muslims. Although the leaders returned Kashmir to India because it was Hindu, there was a huge backlash from Islamist residents inside Kashmir. Only a short while after, Kashmiri Muslim residents took to the streets demanding a return to Pakistan. India sent armed forces to the Kashmir region to suppress the people. 
which was also an opportunity for Pakistan. Pakistan sent troops to occupy Kashmir under the pretext of protecting Muslims in the region. As a result, in October 1947, as mentioned earlier, just two months after independence, India and Pakistan fought the first war over the Kashmir region. However, the outcome of the war was no one's victory. Through UN mediation, about two-thirds of the Kashmir region was taken over by India and became the Indian administered state of Jammu and Kashmir. And about one third of it was Pakistani territory and was called the Azad Kashmir region. A line of control was established across Kashmir between the two sides. It was decided that the final decision on ownership would be left to a referendum. However, since most of the residents are Muslims and the outcome is obvious, the Indian government has not yet held a referendum. It seemed like there would be some peace, but in 1965, Armed conflict broke out again over the sovereignty of the Kashmir region, leading to the Second Indian-Pakistan War. The Second War ended with a ceasefire mediated by the Soviet Union. The fact that the First and Second Wars occurred predicted that a Third War could also occur. The third Indo-Pakistan war broke out in 1971. At that time, Pakistan was divided into East and West, and there were significant differences between the two in all aspects. East Pakistan was established by Muslims in the Bengal region, but it was a time when all real political power was held by present-day Pakistan. East Pakistan was like a colony. Problems arose after a tragic cyclone struck East Pakistan. In 1970, a devastating cyclone occurred, causing most of East Pakistan to be submerged. At this time, 300,000 to 500,000 people died, and the citizens of East Pakistan were filled with anger. Citizens of East Pakistan thought that the central government located in West Pakistan was negligent in responding to the disaster. The cyclone triggered an independence movement in East Pakistan. To stop the independence movement, the Pakistani military carried out a coercive crackdown. They suffered severe damage from the cyclone and did not have basic necessities such as food. However, the government suppressed the situation and people thought that they could no longer live in a country called Pakistan. The damage from the cyclone and the government's oppression resulted in many refugees whose destination was India. However, at that time, India was also a poor country separated from Pakistan and had a difficult time accepting Muslim refugees. There was no capacity to accommodate their large numbers. However, when the Indian government thought about it carefully, the independence movement was beneficial for India because if East Pakistan became independent, Pakistan would be divided into two. The refuse issue was also justification 
So although Pakistan was opposed, India intervened for the sake of East Pakistan's independence. Due to these circumstances, the Third India-Pakistan War broke out in 1971. India led the war to its advantage with its overwhelming military power. And Pakistan, which was located far from the main front, suffered the defeat. As a result, East Pakistan gained independence in December 1971, and Bangladesh was created. But the conflict between India and Pakistan is not over. In the 1980s, Islamic militant groups emerged in Kashmir, demanding independence from Hindu India. Some extremist armed groups are being criticized for carrying out indiscriminate attacks against Indian citizens. In 1999, another war broke out in Kargil, Kashmir. A disputed territory between India and Pakistan from May to July. The Pakistani army invaded Kargil and fought a small scale local battle, but the war ended with the Indian army driving out the Pakistani army. There have been no major conflicts since then, but the border is still not clearly defined, so problems could escalate at any time. In the 2000s, India and Pakistan seemed to be actively working to resolve the Kashmir dispute and seek peaceful coexistence. However, on November 26, 2008, a series of attacks were carried out in Mumbai by men armed with automatic weapons and grenades. Although the attack was suppressed through Operation Black Storm by India's security forces, 195 people were killed and 350 were injured. This incident once again placed the two countries in a state of tension and conflict. Even to this day, the two countries often seem to get along better for a while, but then fall into a cycle of hostility again, depending on the inclinations of their leaders. But the biggest issue is that both of these countries are armed with nuclear weapons. When India, stimulated by China's nuclear development, succeeded in a nuclear test in 1974, Pakistan, feeling a sense of crisis, also proceeded with nuclear development. As the two countries acquired nuclear weapons, the conflict between the two countries became more than just a conflict between the two nations. In particular, the problem is greater for Pakistan as it has very close relationships with North Korea and Iran. In fact, Pakistan is strongly suspected of being involved in nuclear weapons development by Iran or North Korea. Currently, India and Pakistan have signed a ceasefire agreement. However, although an armistice agreement has been signed, conflict between the two countries continues to occur. India and Pakistan demonstrate the threatening and unfortunate nature of the religious differences that divide them, despite once being a single country. Thank you for watching. This is Matilda, and I worked alongside Gina and Tony.